David Tebb here. Another new product or an, a, a product we sold out of and we ran another batch and obviously anytime we do a product we come up with better ideas. So maybe you call this the Gen 2. Anyway, this is the current Magneto Speed uh, extension that will fit on a rifle that uses a Picatinny rails. And uh, comes with, it comes without a bayonet and or it may come with a bayonet. You need to call and find out. You can use your bayonet though, your current bayonet. Um, here's an example of a regular V3 and the unit comes drilled for the two screws. The two screws come with it. Just don't go nuts when you tighten these down. Snug them down, shoot a little bit, snug them back down again. So that would fit a V3 unit. Then this would be the cheaper bayonet with no modifications. And what it's got, it's got a single screw that comes through the bottom and it captures it here and pulls it all in the V-notch. Better setup really than this, uh, but uh, you know, it's, it is what it is. And of course, it would come, you know, you'd just bolt your normal cheaper bayonet on. And so in the end, so what you get is you get a little clamping block here that will rotate 360 degrees. So you can see the <coughs> the options there, basically. This happens to be a cheaper bayonet that we modify. And we go in and we bore a hole in the back of it all the way up. And then you use a shorter screw. And you can see that it's one's mounted on this rifle right here. And so consequently, if I come in here and I want to move it around, then I can, you see what it'll do. Okay, that'll move, and of course this'll move. Okay? Now the one advantage that I see why I like the newer bayonet is I like the mount here because if you look at it, you see the height of it, you see what I did is I actually took off the V part because I'm only ever going to use it as this to begin with. And the other thing that I did is you see that this is actually in front of the barrel, the whole magneto, okay? Whereas all of these were designed to be back here somewhere, okay? On the barrel, you know, if I turn it upside down. This one and the V3, you know, were designed to be put here somewhere so that you capture. The other thing this lets you do is, is I like to use the, the magneto speed unit where my sensitivity setting is at seven. And that means that I actually have this plane significantly far away. Of course, it's not set up correctly right here, but it should be more like this, okay? Let's say like that, okay? Something very similar to that. I'm not staring at the front of it, so I don't want to perfectly align. <clears throat> but I am keeping the bullet well away from this. And uh, I have seen some people who put this right up against it like they tell you to do. And uh, their, their point of impact changed slightly okay? when they tatted it on and took it off. If we move further back here, you'll see that it comes with two clamping blocks. And they're designed so that you can't lose them. They're a little, the ends are scarred. And uh, so when you unscrew it, the vibration right around the back of your back seat of your vehicle won't let these fall off. And... Uh, of course, they're adjustable at any width and any depth, and they fit pick in any rail sections. Of course, you could put this on up like that or over here, either way, or you can space these closer together or farther together. I've used these successfully pushed together all the way, let's say in the front here, if I needed extra length to get out forward. So, uh, anyway, this little unit without a bayonet. I believe we sell for 185 or 95 bucks on the website, and uh, that comes with all the parts. And uh, for if you want to send us, uh, we we very well may offer this mod in the future. Uh, Magneto Speed just sold to Kestrel, so we'll see what the powers to be say. Or you can send us in and get it modified. Probably the best place to start would be to try it like this first and see if it's adequate for you. Okay. If it is, you're off and running. Right? So we've given you various options in order to mount your magneto. And then, of course, with all of that kit comes this little bar or spacer that has a piece of uh, Velcro here. And you can mount your magneto speed control unit here. 
on a pick rail. You can mount it on the side or up and down. You can take these loose. And so this gives you the flexibility of having it all together, all in one. And some of the rules that they have, some of the matches, if you're going to use a chronograph system on your gun, you can't have it laying on the ground. So, And really the biggest advantage with this is the fact that you're able to move from target to target to target and not have to readjust anything because it's adjusted when you get it set. And it's such a quick, easy fix. It's so much faster than strapping this thing in and getting it figured out, you know, the way that they do it with, with rubber mounts and with a rubber mounting system on top of the V-notch, figuring out the right height, making sure that thing's strapped and tight all the time. Okay? This, you just know your two little marks you bolted onto on wherever your pick rail section is. And you put it on and it repeats itself really quickly. And it's very easy to adjust because you can stand in front, open the bolt, stand in front of it, look back down it, and see. But try to get the plane of the bayonet as far away as you can from the bore diameter. Of course, that's indicative on the, the mass of the bullet and the diameter of the bullet. Okay? Uh, a good function of that is whatever the caliber is, uh, a multiple of two. So if it was a 243, you'd have the center of the hole a half inch away, the bottom of the center of the hole a half inch away from the plane, okay? If it was a 338, let's say that's six, you know, what, 680, so the bottom of the hole is six, 680 thousandths away, okay? Seven tenths of an inch, say, or a little bit more than that to the center of the hole, so. And then play with your, your, uh, your sensitivity. They may not uh, like like that. Some people like that, yes, some will no, but that's to me, I get very true readings like that. I've shot them over the ailer at the same time I shoot this, the way that we set them up, and we're, we're usually within 10 feet a second, and guess what? The ailer's 12 feet on down there, you know, 10 or 20 feet per second. So it's all within the, the standard error uh, of, uh, of, of measurement, basically. So I have good luck that way. This is such a fantastic tool for extreme long range shooting and or group shooting. Okay. Anyway, another product from davidtub.com.